In this video, I will be listing 52 cards from the 2023 Top Stadium Club Baseball card. I will be listing them on eBay using Card Dealer Pro. And now, without further ado, let's get started. As you can see on the screen, I'm in Card Dealer Pro under the home section. What I want to do is set up a new batch. So I will go to batches and then over to the right where I've got right there. I hover there, click add to batch, and then we begin. First off, you want to name your batch. I always use uh, the date that I'm going to be listing, which at the time of this video, this is February, February the 1st. 2024 and we are doing stadium club and i will do it like that the d just stands for a particular batch that i'm using these are the base cards from the uh top stadium club hobby box that i pulled a few days ago these are just the base they do not include rookies or or different uh, autographs or hits or special inserts. These are the regular base cards. Now we go down to the sport, which will be baseball. We'll click on that. And I have templates already made up. In another video, I'll go over how we make those templates. But I have the title template, baseball card title update, and then the description template is the baseball card description update and then we will hit continue uh these since they were just pulled these will be under condition near mint or better and uh, i usually just put uh the sales price on these i will be listing them at two dollars and 99 cents and then for your uh sku field uh which will let me know where these cards are located I will put box box seven and that should be in tab 13 uh, put tab 13 and that's all I use for for that there in batch description, I'll just put 2023, which nobody will see it except for me. Uh, 2023 Top Stadium Club. And this will be the base cards. And then we'll scroll down. I'll hit Create Batch. And then I will do the magic scan where we will scan all the cards. I have already scanned all the cards that I will be listing uh, for this video. So we'll click in the where, it's, where you see the yellow star. Click on that. I do front and back. Uh, if you just have the front side, then you would go over here to front. Since uh, we're going to be scanning both sides, we'll click there. And then in this section right here will hit drop files here and then I will go and find the particular folder I have these all listed in my folder I'm gonna go to February 1 I will double click that of course you're not you're not able to see this part but all I'm doing I'm in the folder and I'm going to uh, highlight all the cards that I'm going to be uploading. And then I will click open. And now it is scanning all our cards. Now, while this is scanning, especially since this is a new set, it's just been released about a week or so ago. So all of them may not recognize so especially on new sets that i use i will be uh using the spreadsheet 
area that we will look at in just a minute. still scanning remember we got 52 cards so it will take a little bit of time but i will be using the spreadsheet part part of the card dealer pro i believe they call it the overview and i will show that what we do in just a minute give it a little time to scan everything a couple of more Okay, 52 out of 52 completed. So it scanned everything. So we will hit continue. Okay, there's, as you can see, it's got a lot of them. But like I said, see the, some of them, uh, it's card not match. It's probably in the database. But when there's that many, I normally, it's, it's faster for me just to go to the Instead of using inspector up at the top here, instead of using inspector, that's what this area is. I'm going to use overview. So we're on the left side overview. Just click on that. And now you see their spreadsheet. And what I normally do, I kind of on some of the uh, columns, I go ahead and and uh, insert the 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 different fields that I want to do where I don't have to type them in every time. So what I'll do, I'll go first thing I'll do, I'll go to category, click on category, and then I'm going to add, this is the, uh, uh, let's see, get back here to a second. Yeah, let me click that. I mean, can we want baseball. So I'll do that. Oh. I'll select baseball, then I'll hit field selected. Give it a few seconds and it's filled everything as baseball. The year, some of these, uh, they're already in there, but let's just get them all. So the year was when it came out 2023, field selected. The brand is tops. I will fill that in. And the set is 2023 Tops Stadium Club. Okay, what else do we need? Okay, what I need, the last thing I will do is go over to the SKU field. You can already see where I've already filled in the box and the tab, and I'm just going to put in SQ, SKU field. So when I sell that particular card, it will show in my back office where to get the card. And I've already uh, copied most of it. I'm just going to uh, see. I need to click on SKU. Make sure you hit. For me, uh, it's all the same. Uh, so I hit set all SKUs to the same value. Then I will paste that in. I'm going to change the date, which this was actually from yesterday that I did. So it's going to be February be February the 1st and I'm in tab I've created a new tab so we got box 7 instead of tab 12 it will be tab 13 and I'm on fill selected and hit the X there Make sure it's in there, which it is. It's box seven, tab 13. And that's what we want. Now let's grab this and go start with our first card. All these are, when I scanned them, I scanned them in order. So I've got them in order as they are listed in the uh, overview spreadsheet part that we're looking at right now. So I kind of, so all that's right. 
So I'm just going to put this over here. And I'm going to start with the name, put the card number. Uh, I will not be putting anything in attributes. I usually put like a rookie card or a particular insert. Uh, but for this, there's no rookie card. Attributes that you see on this overview spreadsheet. Attributes is in the item specifics will uh, be where the feature is located. So everything in your item specifics that will be under the uh, features, it's actually where we put it under attributes. And then for parallel, uh, it is under variation. So remember, attributes is features, variation is parallel. So if you can remember that, uh, it will be helpful. Now let's go to our first card. It is a Rowdy Telez. Rowdy Telez. And I just put in his name. Rowdy T L L E Z. The card number is 41. And then his team is the Milwaukee Brewers. Okay, and that was card number one. The next card is a a Juan Soto. Oh, let's see, I didn't go to the next field, Bob. Juan Soto. And his card number is 205. And on the card, he is with the San Diego Padres. But as we all know, he was traded to the New York Yankees this year. And the next card, as we see it, had already uh, filled that one out. So that was uh, Kyle Schorber. I just make sure they they did do it correctly. It is. And sometimes uh, they choose uh, uh, maybe another year or something like that. So make sure that's correct. It's card number 115 for the Philadelphia Phillies. So that's correct. Now the next one is a Christian Yellick, number 121, Christian Yellick. There we go. Christian Yellick, number 121 with the Milwaukee Brewers. The next card is a Ronzi Contreras. Ronzi Contreras. It is card number 82 with the Pittsburgh Pirates. This is done pretty well. Okay, the next card is Jake Cronenworth. Card number six from the San Diego Padres. The next card is Stephen Kwan. Stephen Kwan, number 222, from the Cleveland Guardians. Uh, scroll that up uh, down here. we get it in a minute. Dansby Swanson, a former Atlanta Braves. In case you did not know, I'm a big Atlanta Braves fan all my life. Former Brave, now a Chicago Cub. This is card number 253 with the Chicago Cubs. Did all be in the field? I don't want to do as much typing this time. The next card is Bo Bachette. Bo Bachette, card number 78 with the Toronto Blue Jays. The next card, Reed Detmeyer's. Reed Detmeyer's from the Los Angeles Angels. 
card number 203. Next card is Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole. Card number 177 from the New York Yankees. The next card is William Contreras. William Contreras is a former Cub, now a St. Louis Cardinals. His card number is number 238 with the St. Louis Cardinals. Taylor Ward is the next card. Taylor Ward of the Los Angeles Angels. His card number is number 73. The next card is Fernando Tatis Jr. Fernando Tatis Jr. His card number is number 47. He is with the San Diego Padres. The next one is George Springer, George Springer of the Toronto Blue Jays is number 162. The next card, Jose Barrios, if I'm pronouncing that right, Jose Barrios, his card number is number 231. He is also with the Toronto Blue Jays. And now the next one, I will actually have to do some typing. The next one is a former Atlanta Braves. Is Freddie Freeman with the Los Angeles Dodgers. His card number is 217. So we got Freddie Freeman. And his card number, once again, is number 217. And he is with the Los Angeles Angels. Los Angeles Dodgers, excuse me. <laughs> Los Angeles Dodgers. Okay, the next card is Carlos Rodon. Carlos Rodon with the New York Yankees. His card number is 2 36. And that's Carlos Rodon. Card number 236 with the New York Yankees. And hopefully for the Yankees, Rodon will have a better year. The next card is Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray with the Minnesota Twins, card number 32. That's Sonny Gray. And card number 32. And he is with the Minnesota Twins. And the next card is supposed to be Josh Bell. That it is. Josh Bell from the Cleveland Guardians. And he is number 18. So that's correct. Okay. The next card is Nestor Cortez. Nestor Cortez with the New York Yankees. Card number 97. So that's Nestor Cortez. And card number 97 with the New York Yankees. Okay, the next card is Patrick Sandoval. 
Patrick Sandoval, number 13, with the Los Angeles Angels. Patrick Sandoval, number 13, with the Los Angeles Angels. If you look on the on the card, especially with with tops, whenever it's the angels, they're just putting angels for some reason. And if you happen to know this, know the reason why they're not putting Los Angeles uh, for every card that's dealing with angels, they just put angels, not Los Angeles angels. If you happen to know the reason why, I would appreciate it if you would put that in the comment section below. So I. And it's just curious why all the other teams, they have the uh, uh, either the city or the state that they're in. Uh, but for Los Angeles Angels, they do not. So I'd like to know why. So is with the Los Angeles Angels. It's just a little kind of curious why they're not putting it on the cards unless, unless there's planning on being... Uh, a name change. Hey, the next card is a Julio Rodriguez with the Seattle Mariners. Card number 33. Hey, that's Julio. Rod Rodriguez. Card number 33. And that will be with the Seattle Mariners. Okay, the next card. It is Mitch Hanniger with the San Francisco Giants. Mitch Hanniger. Okay, Mitch. And the girl. Card number 281. He is with the San Francisco Giants. Spring training is just around the corner. They will be uh pitchers and catchers will be starting to make their way if they hadn't already to spring training either in Florida or Arizona. So looking forward to that. The next card is Matt Chapman. Matt Chapman. This card, the Toronto Blue Jays, card number 218. That's Matt Chapman. Uh, card number 218. Uh, Toronto Blue Jays. Okay. And the next card is Andrew McCutcheon of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Andrew McCutcheon, card number 102. He re-signed with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Looks like he's most likely will finish his career with the Pirates, looks like. And card number 102. Pittsburgh Pirates. Okay, the next card. Scroll that up a little bit. Is Julio Urias, the Los Angeles Dodgers pitcher. Card number 107. It is Julio. Card number 
And card number 107. With the Los Angeles Dodgers. Okay, the next car. It pick this one up. Don't want to top it. It's Cody Bellinger. The Chicago Cubs. Looks like there's a shot maybe that he may re-sign with the Cubs. But as of the time of this video, uh, he is not signed yet. And it's card number 198 with the Chicago Cubs. The next car is Joey Votto, the Cincinnati Reds. He is not signed yet. I think there's a couple of teams that's interested, but he is not signed yet as the time of this video. And okay, the next car, let's scroll this up a little bit. After Joey Votto, we've got Jordan Alvarez with the Houston Astros. Jordan Alvarez, card number 276. Jordan Alvarez, 276. Okay, that's not right. Sometimes my computer goes a little crazy. Let's see if I can. 276. There we go. And he's with the Houston Astros. Okay, the next card is Mackenzie Gore. Mackenzie Gore with the Washington Nationals, card number 258. Mackenzie Gore, card number 258. with the Washington Nationals. The next card is Tyler Stephenson or Stevenson. Tyler Stevenson with the Cincinnati Reds, card number 174. That's Tyler Stevenson, card number 174, with the Cincinnati Reds. The next card is another Patrick Sandoval. Number 13 with the Los Angeles Angels. Patrick. Sandoval. Card number 13 with the Los Angeles Angels. And the next card is Julio Rodriguez. Card number 33 with the Seattle Mariners. Julio Rodriguez. And that is card number 33. 33 with the Seattle Mariners. Get that. 
Okay. The next card is Trey Turner. Trey Turner. Card number 134 with the Philadelphia Phillies. The next card is Blake Snell. Blake Snell. Card number 67 with the San Diego Padres. The next card is Carlos Rodon, card number 236 with the New York Yankees. That's Carlos Rodon, card number 236 with the New York Yankees. Okay, the next car is Sunny Gray, card number 32 with the Minnesota Twins. That's Sunny Gray, card number 32. And as you can see, we have a few duplicates. Remember that uh, these came from a hobby box. And this is Minnesota Twins. So you, especially on the base cards, you will have a few uh, duplicates that you'll be getting. Okay. Next card is another Blake Snail. Card number 67. From the San Diego Padres. Okay, the next card is an Adam Wainwright. Adam Wainwright. Card number 74. With the St. Louis Cardinals. Adam Wainwright. The next card is Jeremy Pena. Card number 22 with the Houston Astros. Okay, that's Jeremy. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll get back here. There, Jeremy. Jeremy Pena. And card number 22 with the Houston Astros. And the next card is Sandy Alcantara. I think I pronounced that right. Sandy Alcantara. Card number four with the Miami Marlins. The next card is a, another Trey Turner. Trey Turner, number 134, with the Philadelphia Phillies. The next card is O'Neill Cruz, number 94, with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Okay, that's O'Neill Cruz. Card number 94. And he is with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Okay, the next card is Lars Nukebar. Lars Nukebar. Card number 34 with the St. Louis Cardinals. The next card is Hunter Green. Hunter Green, card number 176 
with the Cincinnati Reds. Hunter Green with two E's, or actually three E's. Card number 176 with the Cincinnati Reds. Okay, the next card is Brian Reynolds. Brian Reynolds, card number 170 with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Brian Reynolds. Card number 170. with the Pittsburgh Pirates. And the next card is Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado, card number 88 with the St. Louis Cardinals. And the next car is Plain Ichiro. Let's get this right. Ichiro, card number 72 with the Seattle Mariners. Card number 72. with the Seattle Mariners. The next card is J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez, card number 71, the Los Angeles Dodgers. We'll just we'll soon find out who he will be playing with since the Dodgers have a uh, new DH this year. So that's J.D. Martinez. Since Otani will be the, the Dodgers' DH. Card number 71. And he is with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Hey, the next car is Cabron Hayes or Kebron Hayes. Card number 165 with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Card number 165 is with the Pittsburgh Pirates. And the last card that we will be listing is Joe Ryan. Joe Ryan, number 60, with the Minnesota Twins. And that is Joe Ryan, card number 60, with the Minnesota Twins. Okay, and that is all the cards we've got listed. What we want to do is kind of do a little checking, make sure there's no issues. 
So first, what I'd like to do is in the title section, let's go up all the way to the top. In this title section, if we've got too many characters, you're allowed 80 on eBay. If we have more than 80, then any of the titles here will be in red uh, background. So as we scroll down, everything's looking good. Don't have any problems there. Next thing I like to look at is just in case Car Dealer Pro made a mistake and got the wrong card, but on this, I don't believe they did. Uh, we want to look at the graded and the greater. Make sure they didn't insert one. All of these should be no. Okay. So we have one here that is that is wrong. Uh, so, so that's why we always double check. Uh, so I'll go here, click on yes, and then I will click no. And that will take off the graded part, the grader, and the certificate number, and the grade. So it did that. Let's make sure there's not any others. There's not. So it looks like we don't have no other problems. So the next thing that we do is we're in the overview section here in the spreadsheet. What we want to go to the right, we want to hit inspector. Okay, we're in the inspector. And what we want to do over here on the left side where it says draft, there's 52 of them. We want to tell it to get ready. So right here, I believe you can see my mouse there. It's right now, Mark, it's ready to list us in black. Now it's in blue. What we want to do, we want to put all of these listings in the mark is ready to list. You need to do that right now. So we want to do all 52. So click them all. Takes a little bit to get 52 in. Now... You see the 52 is in the section ready to list. So what I do, now we're going to get ready. What I need to do, I need to go over to my eBay section under my listings. And up at the top, since I have an eBay store and I have some categories and I want to put it in one of my categories in my store. So I go to store and then look for store categories. Let me get you where you can see it. One second. There we go. Okay, I'm on my eBay seller hub. Go to store and then store categories. Then I scroll down to one of my categories is under baseball sports cards and then uh since these are tops cards i'll go to tops and i look for the category number it's on the far right i'm going to copy this and then i will paste it in just a little bit and let's go back to car dealer pro let me share this so you can see it now we're back to car dealer pro now up at the top on the far right you see in green, export cards. So we click on that. And then we click export ready to list cards. Uh, of course, it's under eBay. I do not have a Shopify, so that is not clicked. So we hit export ready to list cards. Now, before we download it, I've got to make a few changes in my eBay listing template. So we'll click eBay listing template here. And then I want to add my store category, which is in blue right here. Hit the plus sign. Then I'm going to paste 
my category number that's in my part of my store. Okay, I've got that listed. Now, there's a few other things. I'm going to allow best offer. So I'm going to click that. And I'll leave these blank here. And everything else, I'm gonna, as soon as I upload it, it will go live. I use on all these cards the eBay standard envelope. Uh, I'm going to charge shipping. Some of the cards that I have, uh, I do have free shipping, but especially on newer cards, I I do charge. So I'm going to click off free shipping. And then on these particular cards, uh, the cost will be 99 cents to ship. You know, whatever you want to do, if you want to have free shipping, then you would just click free shipping, then you won't have to worry about that part. And then I'm I'm located in Centerton, Arkansas. This is so some settings here. I do accept returns uh, within 30 days. And I, I do give the money back. And that's everything. Basically, the only thing I changed, put the category number. I allow best offer on these. Not everyone I do that on, but on these I do, especially since they're they're brand new cards that just been released. And I use the eBay standard envelope program. It's a good program. There's some features I will, they could improve on, especially on the the tracking part. is terrible. I mean, a lot of times they don't even scan them and, and the customer thinks you hadn't shipped it and wherein they have. Uh, but hopefully they, uh, between eBay and the post office, they can get this uh, the, get this handled. It surely w would help between buyer and seller in their conversations of whether they get the card or not. So after I get everything, get all that done, I'm on the save changes. Now, all I do is right under the eBay listing template, I will download my eBay in a CSV Excel file. So I'll download it. And as you see, it popped up. I don't know if you saw it on your end or not, but it did popped up in my download section. Now, since I've got, I'm ready to... Uh, upload that to ebay so i'm going to go over to my ebay seller hub let me share that where you can see it there you go and what we do on seller hub uh right under where it says seller hub you see overview orders listings and so forth but on the far end right after research you have reports hover over reports and click on uploads uh, you can hit get started and scroll down a little bit where you see under the number three, proceed to upload. Just hit upload template. Then we're going to choose our file. And then this will be in our, you can't see this part of it, but under all your, where you store everything, go to your download all your downloads and be under today and then i see my my particular file and then i'll double click that to start the process of uploading now you can see down here it says upload in progress and whenever that's completed probably takes a minute or less okay our upload is completed so we can X out of that. And then in, in our seller hub, go up to the top again. Click on listings. Okay, once we get the listings, and I usually go and look under our categories, and I go and hit uh, under mine, especially if you sell more than just baseball cards. Uh I click on that, and then I search. Give it a few seconds. Okay, and then I scroll down just a little bit. And then I look, because you, 
you know, I, I promote just about all my listings. And as you can see, there's, uh, there's one card that hadn't, and that, that sometimes it takes, usually there's one card that they hadn't got in their thing yet. So I, what I normally do is kind of refresh it. And if it, it may take a little while. So what I will do is just to save time here, I'll go, I'll do the other one, you know, eventually when it comes through. But what I'll do, I'll hit promoted listing standard eligible. So that's going to be the, the new cards that I've, that I've uploaded. So I'm going to click on that. This just makes it a little bit easier. These are all the cards that I have just listed in this batch, except one has not come through. I'll do that later. But what I do, I go under actions. I'll click on that and I'll select all, all 51 of these. So you got to remember when you're, when you're doing through Card Dealer Pro, you don't have a thing as far as I know of where you can uh, set up your promote promoted listing so you have to do this in uh, in the back office in the seller hub so we want we're doing the bulk edit make sure you click this this will select all 51 and then i hit bulk edit now i scroll all the way down to promoted listing then i'll click uh, updated promoted listing i'll click add rate and I use the apply single ad rate. I don't use their suggested. Sometimes what I use is, is more, but most time it's a little bit less. I go with a certain percent, which is 10%. Just through different trial and error over the past few months, 10% for me seems to work very well. I think the lower you go, the... It's not going to be seen as well uh, for those looking for a particular card. So I've got it at 10%, and then I will hit apply. Okay, and do that. And if there's any other things, a lot of times I'll go ahead and do it now. Uh, usually under the delivery, I'll click on excluded location. There's a picture particular place you feel more comfortable not doing or you, you've had issues uh, I, I'm not going to do I have problems a lot of times in this second one so I just usually click on these and apply so I don't have to worry about it especially Puerto Rico is, is one area where we all have problems with it just kind of depends on how they do their address Sometimes we're not able to print a uh, eBay standard envelope uh, label, you know, if it's if it's under the Puerto Rico address instead of the U.S. address. And uh, if you do a whole lot of them and you have to go that route, uh, first off, you're not going to have any tracking, and it's going to hurt. It might hurt your feedback a little bit. Uh, ratings because uh, there's no way to track it and uh, that's the problem you know if you don't do that many there's probably not a big deal but especially if you just do a few listings and a lot of them are, are to Puerto Rico you know I've just come I've just made that decision just not to uh, to ship to Puerto Rico that's just my decision and that's why okay those are the only things I'm going to change. So down at the bottom right, you see the blue button where it says submit all 51. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm verifying. I'm submitting. Okay. And, and I always check this, make sure it got all of them. And it did not. So what I will do, I will refresh it. Let's see if it finishes it, it out. Let 
Refresh it one more time. And this may be the uh, the one that, yeah. So what I will have to do on here, I will have to do this individually. I'm gonna go and hit edit. This will be, this will look a little bit different because I'm just editing one particular listing. And what I will do, I will go down Okay, here's the excluded locations. I will click on not to allow those locations. And then I'm going to turn on the listing ad rate. I'm going to edit the su suggestion of 13 and change that to 10. all that and then i'm gonna hit revise and that will should list everything let's go back and just double check go to listings and i'm going to Baseball, sports card, search. And that has got them all. So everything has been edited. And they usually, when you do a bulk upload using Car Dealer Pro, it may take a, take a few minutes to get into your store. Let me go back, go over to my eBay store. This is when you go to my eBay store, it's gbestore.com. That'll redirect you to this page right here. I'm going to scroll down. And as I remember, I said earlier, we've got 30% off when you buy three or more. And if you want to go to all the ones that are eligible you know just hit shop now and then we want to look at these are all items let me relist and see if they've started to come in yes they have and these are the ones that we just listed there takes a little while to all the images to get into the system but usually within 10, 15 minutes, everything's there. So let's take a look at, say, Hunter Green. Let's kind of look at my listing. Of course, they come up here. Remember, on to get the 30% off, make sure you use the Add to Cart button. You know, when this pops up, uh, it, it won't show a byte now. But if you view all details... <coughs> excuse me then it has either buy it now or add to cart make sure you use the add to cart button if you use buy it now you won't be able to get to 30 percent discount so just remember that but this is how it is these are the two images that we have with car dealer pro as far as i know you're just allowed either one or two images and uploading. And the last time I tried to say uh, use my my phone uh, to take a picture and add to it, it would not allow images coming from two different places. One coming from Car Dealer Pro, then one coming actually from me uploading. So as far as I know, you cannot add from another source of where you store your images. So keep that in mind, especially on, on cards that, uh, especially like autographs, serial numbers, uh, your some of your really good hit cards. Normally, I won't scan those, uh, and, and especially like uh, Chrome or Prism cards. 
it's hard to get a really good scam from them because they're so shiny. So I usually use my phone than that and just do a regular. I won't use Car Dealer Pro. I will just do a cell similar in one and do it as a template. And then I can uh, upload, I think it's, I don't know, 12, 13 images that you're allowed. So that's how I do uh, on those types of cards. But this, you can see, you got your title and everything uh, in your item specifics. You know, the one, the, you got your card number, your team. Uh, let's see. So on these, I didn't, I didn't have a feature, you know, uh, like a rookie card or a particular parallel. So they won't be in the item specifics. But everything is there. And this is my description, how I set up my template. I know a lot of people don't put much in the description, but if you really need to put some information, you know, it's there. Uh, so this is how it's set up. And like I said, I'll try to do another video that shows you how to set up your title templates and your description templates. And that's, that's everything there. So what I've listed in this video, it's in our eBay store if you're interested in it. Be sure to check it out. And let me go back to Car Dealer Pro one more time. And I, I do want to show you, it's one thing you may be asking, wondering where you set up uh, your, your, your templates. And what you do, you go to Car Dealer Pro and up at the top where... It says upgrade right to the right is your information. Uh, just click on that. And then it will be under account settings. And then on the left there, you got your bills, your inventory, notification, custom fields, and then you got templates. You'll hit templates. And then this is where you see all your templates, all your uh, uh title and your description and set up like i said we'll look at that in another video but that is where you set up your templates and then you'll want to set if you use a particular one most of the, the, the time uh you want to use that as your default template and that'll come up you won't have to search for it every time but that is where you find your templates